Okay, hi everyone. So welcome back. So now I'm going to show you just a few things before you really start sharing the games to your students. So next, you know, once after you had created the games, then now is the time to share to them. Yeah, that's the most important thing you got to share, right? Uh, who's never going to share something that they had done? Yeah, so as you can see from here, if you can see there's a sharing button here, as you can see, there's a set assignment, there's a share, there's edit content. You know, actually, you can still re edit your material if you do not like it. Yeah, so actually, there's a lot of ways. So, one thing will be direct link. Okay, but this one for the share button is more to publishing in public. You know, you want to share to public for, you know, for maybe your colleagues. Your colleagues want to use it or you wanted to just uh, just share it out just for you know contribution to you know help the students who need it mm. but you want to if you want your students to know your game so you just uh, set assignment press set assignment and you can just let students if let's say they wanted to be anonymous you just put anonymous or you just want to put enter name you just put enter name yeah and if you want to put the results so you just show the leaderboard or you do not want them to start again, you can just press this. Yeah. So once you have pressed all of this, then you just press start. And then you, as you can see from here, there's a lot of ways to share to your students. One is to embed into Google Classroom or Facebook, you know, share on Facebook or just email or just embed it to your website or just create a QR code. So one of the most simplest uh, thing for educators, uh, just copy the link and just share. So once you had present your materials in class, and you can just um, take the link, you know, and share it to the students. Yeah. I'll just show you the, you know, once you press the link for the game. So this is the mobile version, as I mentioned during the previous episode, that you know, when you let your student use the app to do it, yeah, to do the game and play it. So as you can see from here, you can just enter the name. For example, I just put my, I just put my name and then, um, or oh, remember me. So next time when they come to work wall, then their name is over there. Okay, if they don't, they actually, it's not difficult for them. You know, as you can see from here, they do not need to register their Gmail or their email inside. Yeah, which is actually quite convenient for them lah. Mm. So once once you you know share the link to the students and they start to play, as you can see, they can just start to play. Yeah, as you can see, they just use the mobile phone just to adjust it. Yeah, uh, that. Mm. So actually, it's quite convenient, uh. So uh, one of the tips that I would like to share here is that don't make it too, um, when you're using your materials, try not to be too big and uh, like too many wordy, la, too many words inside. Yeah, because if not, the problem will be the resolution of the image. You might make it unclear for the students to understand what you're trying to share through your materials. Yeah. Mm. So that's all from me. So thanks for watching on my short introduction on work work. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop in and ask me. Yeah. So that's all from me. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe and like my channel.